Alrighty, so it's no secret that uh, BMW motorcycles are designed to withstand the toughest environments, but also that their switches are, aren't designed to withstand a couple of seconds outside in the rain, um, and that they behave more similarly to a cashed up bogan, and that is erratically, illogically, and expensively. So a number of these ignition kill switches were recalled in America because they um, they just break. Um, I'm having the exact same problem on the exact same model where the recall was uh, affected. Um, however, in Australia they weren't for some reason, and as a result, uh, the BMW quoted $260 for a replacement for this, but apparently it's a quick fix. So we'll see if we can do that. So as you can see here, the problem is, let's pop the bike in neutral, the um, kill switch uh, doesn't do anything, it's always in kill effectively and then it won't, it won't start up because you can't press this. Um, though I have noticed that if you press almost so hard that you feel like you're going to break the switch, then it will start. It's just not optimal, obviously. Um, so we won't do that. Um, what you will need is a Torx, a T9 Torx screwdriver. Um, the BMW schematic says a T15. That is incorrect. You will need a T9 or I think a T8 also works. And there is a little the hole in the underside, it's here. That's the screw. Uh, unfortunately, my wing mirrors have this like weird extendy thing, so you can see a bit further. So I'm gonna have to move that a little bit. Oh, that's great. bottom it's not really what we need just interesting so it looks like there's another screw to undo at the back it's hard to see so um, it's just kind of in there Right, so interestingly the screw is bent. I probably broke it, but I also might not have, so I never know. I'm gonna put that somewhere safe. It's the same screw, so that's great. So the switch assembly just kind of comes off. Those are the pins, more pins. This is the switch assembly. Again, more T9 pins inside the assembly. I'll just undo them. So this is the switch unit and it just like kind of comes out once you've unscrewed everything. So importantly, be quite delicate with this. This is not uh, the thing that is broken. Um, it's the other side, although this looks interesting, but this is not the broken thing. This is the broken thing. So this is the, the whole unit. Um, it doesn't click. And then if you take it out, obviously leave that alone. I'm going to take this button out uh, because it, otherwise it will fall out. And then we've got here the clicky now it moves and this white pin in there is uh, on a spring and it's meant to be you know like 
quite tactile um, but and it's got a bit of lube in it so that's interesting um, but if you take this white bit out and we put everything back in and we line everything back up boom 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 I don't remember how this all went in so hopefully it's like this yep and we line everything back up there's a click that'll just press now so I've removed so I've removed the um, the white thing and this is now functioning normally it still requires a click both ways I'm gonna put everything back together and I'm gonna replace it with bent screw I'm just gonna put the bent screw back in this unit because I don't want to actually have to use it somewhere else Alrighty, cool. This needs to go here into this little switchy thing. That's great. Okay. Cool. That screw needs to go back in on the other side. back in um, now being in make sure you put all of these wires back to where it goes like that that's how it's meant to look and pop this bad boy back on fucking brilliant all right so we're in last screw into the bottom here. Promise. Alright. That's all solid and back on. I'm just going to put this back. Brilliant. Right, moment of truth. So now we've started her out, started her up, sorry, I just turned her on. We've taken out this little white pin. And moment of truth, three, two, one. Good as new. And that's not, it's a bit looser, but you can just stop it like normal. Cool, so yeah, thanks for listening and um, BMW, sort yourselves out, please. Thanks, bye. Uh, yeah, so I've tested it out. It works perfectly. Um, so it's a bit annoying that like a little 10 minute fix, that could probably take five minutes if it wasn't so bad at things, um, would cost like 260 bucks. Uh, it's ridiculous. Um, so yeah, BMW, really, you have to work on that. Um, that's quite terrible. Anyways, thanks for playing. Thanks for listening. See you later. I hope this helps someone.